Hey guys, welcome along to Mishmash TV. My name is Brittany and today we have our return trip to Southall School to check out their fourth Hazy School Got Talent performances. We have seen three amazing, consistently talented, beautiful people so far, or performances. Well, the first one was a group, so that was the Senior Orchestra. Then we saw uh, Matthew Chanwai playing his cello, and yesterday we saw Miranda MacArthur doing a singing a beautiful song, a song from The Little Mermaid, which is what sold me, because I love The Little Mermaid and basically every Disney movie ever made. Uh, if you don't have too much homework to do after school today, though, why don't you visit our website, mishmashtv.co.nz. You can have a look at our recent Has Your School Got Talent performances, you can check out different recipes and activities and things you can do if you want to have a bit of fun and also you can contact us through that if you'd like us to visit your school or if you want to enter into this week's giveaway but let's head along and check out our next solo performance from Southall. It is time to check out our third solo performance here at Southall School for Has Your School Got Talent and today we have a tap dancer. Now tap, tap dance always amazes me how they can make rhythm with their feet and uh, go along with the music and things like that. So let's check out our next performer and find out what she's going to do. Hi my name is Lucy and I'm going to be performing a Latin tap dance. My tap teacher is Leanne and I like her teaching me tap because she's fun. Some of the other things I like other than tap are um, jazz and ballet and painting. I hope you enjoy my performance. Now I get to talk to Lucy, who did such a great dance for us. How did how did you reckon your dance went then? Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, because you haven't seen it yet, so. No. Yeah. Did it feel good though when you're performing it? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's important, definitely. Um, so, what were some of the different parts of your dance that you did? Like, can you name one of the moves that you did? Or anything like that? Um, a triple. Okay, cool. What's that part? Can you explain it to me? Um, anyway? <laughs> at the end, before I went back, 
those stuff where I did four, three or four times. Okay. That's triples. Okay. So are those moves quite difficult to do? When I first learned them, yes, but now they're easy. Yeah. So which, so other than triples, which parts of your dance do you think were the hardest to learn when you were learning it? Um, probably doing the kicks. Yeah, yeah. True. And that then when like at the, the finishing pose, getting yeah. over was yeah. hard. Because you have to be super flexible to do yeah. that day. But once <laughs> I tried it once, it was easy. Yeah. And now, was it weird doing it a few times for us though? Like doing it got a bit dance, tiring. Dance, dance. Yeah. Yeah, but it wasn't weird. It's good exercise, definitely. Now, I want to hear a little bit more about uh, Leanne, who we found out is her dance teacher. Uh, so, what is it like learning from Leanne? Um, it's cool. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds like she's fun. So, what sort of stuff has Leanne taught you then? Does she only teach you tap? Yeah, she only teaches me tap. Yeah, and what? Are, um, who else teaches you the other forms of dance that you do? Um, well, my jazz teacher is Miss Crawford and my ballet teacher is Mrs Ward. Yeah, so which of those three kinds of dance do you think you like the most? Probably tap, then jazz, then ballet. Yeah, why do you think, why does it go in that order? <laughs> I like tap because you can move around and it's loud. Yeah. And then jazz because it's got funky music and stuff and then ballet because it's nice and graceful to calm down. Yeah, yeah, true. So you could, would you be able to do like three, like combine all of the, all three of those into one performance, do you reckon? Mm -hmm. Do you think that would be quite difficult though? Yeah, it would be. <laughs> yeah. It would make you quite tired, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't want to do that. I'd probably just pass out or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you, Lucy. You look amazing as well, which I didn't mention before, uh, but great performance and good luck in our competition. Thanks for watching Mishmash On Demand, whether it be through YouTube or mishmashtv.co.nz. If you think you deserve to win something, uh, maybe you haven't won something recently, why don't you enter into this week's giveaway, which is a family pass to Skyline Skyrides. Time for some celebrity birthdays now on Mishmash TV. So first up, it is Florence Welch's birthday. Uh, she was born in 1986 and is very famous for being the singer of Florence and the Machine. I think she actually started off doing sort of some solo stuff, but then her band became quite important to her, so she added the and the Machine part on uh, to include them, which is very nice. Now one thing about her is that she is actually dyslexic, uh, so she didn't do amazing at school, but she was encouraged to be musical and performed by her grandmother who used to sing to her lots uh, which is epic and uh, she is just a really cool chick and so beautiful as well apparently she absolutely loves her job because she loves singing loves dancing loves drumming on things and dressing up as well so it's her perfect job it is also Jack Black's birthday today he was born in 1969 and he is so hilarious he was nominated for a Golden Globe for Best Actor for the movie School of Rock which I love uh, and he's been in heaps of other different movies he's also in a band called Tenacious D uh, which I actually saw a few years ago at Western Springs in Auckland and they were hilarious and really good as well he's a very good musician and actor and funny man as well and his parents were rocket scientists. Pretty cool, eh? Today at Hokanui Primary School we have another amazing solo performance to check out. Another girl with another incredible voice just like Hale did the other day. Her name is Eva and she could be winning a Arts on Show holiday program package if she wins Best Solo Performer. But let's go and check out her performance. Hi, my name's Eva and I'm going to be singing for you today. The song is called Weather With You by Crowded House. I chose this song because it's from Kids For Kids last year and I think it suits my voice. Other than singing, I love netball and my positions that I play are centre and wing attack. So come and watch my amazing performance. Walking round the room singing stormy waves Change affliction, 
wash over me. Julius Caesar and the Roman Empire couldn't conquer the blue sky. Well, there's a small Well, now I get to hang out with Eva, who did such an awesome performance. Man, I loved your voice, Eva. How did you feel your performance actually went? I think I did pretty good. I'm really proud of myself. Yay, yeah. that's so good. Awesome. Were you feeling nervous or anything beforehand? Yeah, I was feeling really nervous. I didn't <laughs> want to forget the words or anything. <laughs> yeah, definitely, because I think as a singer, that's always the thing that yeah. you can screw up, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Has that happened to you ever before? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do when that happens? I just... Either I stop or I just keep acting like I didn't forget the words or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally, because you can do that. I have done that before, actually, in a singing performance I did once where I just kind of made up some of the words, but it's not good if people in the audience know the song, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so was that song quite hard to sing or was it a pretty easy one for you? It's a pretty easy one because I love singing and it's a song I d I've actually sung before quite a lot of times, so yeah. yeah. Cool, and tell me more about Kids for Kids when you did it last year, what was that experience like? It was really fun, I actually, Mrs Prentice chose me and another girl Halle to audition to go backstage with Chris from the Funky Monkeys. Cool. And we both auditioned to sing a song, but unfortunately we didn't get into singing it on the night, but yeah. it was still really cool to do that, so yeah. Yeah, definitely. Now, Halle is actually one of the other performers from Hokanui, and I know you guys had to audition as well to be in our Has Your School Got Talent competition, so what were those auditions like? Um, it was good. I actually, I sang the song that yeah. I sang today, so yeah, that was really good. Yeah, and how many people actually auditioned for the competition? Um, I'm not sure, but there was quite a few people that did. Yeah, they, yeah. they tried their best and that's really good, so. Yeah, 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 definitely. Now, what sort of musical groups and singing groups are you involved in then here? I'm involved in just the, just the choir. I did, I've been in lots of choirs since I've started this school. Mm -hmm. Yes. Me? Yeah. And what are some of your favourite things about being in the choir then? Um, you get to learn different songs and different like warm-up patterns to know. Yeah. And yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, that's always good eh, to like help and help uh, kind of increase your stamina <laughs> and make your voice even better, which is good. Now, who, like what sort of artists or uh, singers and things inspire you to be a good singer? Um, I really like Taylor Swift and Rihanna. Yeah. Yeah. What do you like so much about them? I like all their songs and they've got really good voices. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So what sort of stuff have you kind of taken from them, them and applied to yourself and for them? Well, I like singing their songs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, good call. Awesome. Well, good luck to you in the competition anyway, Eva. Eva could be winning our Best Solo Performer Prize, which is a pass to go to Arts on Show next year. So we'll find that out later in the term.
Well, before we head off, I have a couple more facts about Jack Black since I love him so much. Now, he is in Tenacious D with a guy called Kyle, and Kyle actually taught him to play guitar when they started the band together, which is awesome. Jack Black is really good friends with Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters, and when he was a kid, he used to hide wires in his shirt and accidentally let them pop out to kind of prove that he was a robot. <laughs> Crack up, eh? But join me on the show tomorrow for an awesome skit from some guys at Subtle. See you later. This has been an Alpha Media Production, a division of Television Media Group. Oh,